that in Akin Kumi village in the Akin Yeli local government area for your state was on Saturday killed by suspected Fulani men. Sahara reporters learned that the youth leader, a butcher, was lured by a Fulani man to come to their settlement to buy a cow. But while on his way, a Fulani herder intercepted him on, on the road with AK-47. According to a source who spoke to Sahara reporters, about seven other Fulani men joined also joined the operation on the road and started shooting indiscriminately. The village head, Pa Olakoki Akikumi, who confirmed the incident to Sahara reporters in Ibadan on Sunday, said, after hearing the news, youth in the village swing into action. He, however, said they could save the youth leader from being killed. He said, when youth heard about it, they went into the forest and arrested one of the Fulanis. Other Fulanis escaped with the two others they kidnapped. The youth leader was, however, by their bullets and they died after some time. The one was arrested is now with the police, but we have warned the police not to release him. We are calling on the government of Oyo State Security Agency and leaders in Ibadan land to kindly come to our rescue. They must not allow Fulani to kill us anymore. Hmm. You even, you even now, you people should now be very careful. The Fulani, they deal with people and they deal in business, they deal in business of cow. So that you will meet them and with that you cannot meet your untimely death. Now that it's obvious that this government that is sponsoring them, I'm very, very sure that this man that was lured by Fulani and Kate is one of them that was supporting Buhari in 2015 because he is a Muslim. See the end. Yoruba should learn some lesson. Of course, the DSS has dislodged Sunday Bull, so the terrorists can now operate freely in Ibadan now. All thanks to the DSS, as far as they are concerned, Igbo protecting his people is more a threat to them than bandits killing emirs in the north. Is God's one is God not wonderful? This is what Namdekano and Son Igbo is fighting against. But some people in the south don't understand. Our leaders in the south should think twice before we are conquered. Like ourselves by Fulani, those that are opposing in Yoruba and Biafra independent from Nigeria, who are from the south, don't understand what they are putting us into. Buari is only strong when he sees freedom fighters like Namdekano and Sunday Igbo. These are the kind of people Igbo saboteurs want us to live, want us to live together with. Thanks to Namdekano, our eyes are are open. This is the reason they want they went against Igbo because they no say this man go go after these people. Hmm. She the so called DSS will not make any arrest but could raid innocent peaceful protesters houses at unholy hours, perpetrated evils and even carried out extrajudicial killings. What a terror government. And no arrest has made though since this Fulani S men killing in Oyo State, Buari and his S kinsmen destroyed this country with nepotism. We should stand up for our rights. Of course, that is just it. We <laughs> standing up for your right. Those people that are standing up for their right, they are going after them. They are just looking for a way to silence everybody. That is the, re the reason why they, if they see you that. You want to stand up for, for your rights and all that, or you are trying to let people know that this is what they are doing. They will go after you just to make sure that they silence you. That is what they are doing. But the, the, the worst part of it is these people, they continue to key. They continue to, uh, to do whatever thing you know they like. Rape people, destroy farmlands and all that. And none of them have been persecuted. But what is going on? This is really very, very unfair. These people... It's very, very clear now to us that they have an agenda. Because even that one, they, they arrested, the, the village people have arrested one of the Fulani, and, and, and they have already handed him over to the police. Hey, forget about that issue. The police, they will release him. Just one call from on top. He is gone. 
that is it. The whole thing, what, 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 what is just left for us now? It's just prayer because we are helpless. Anybody that wants to oppose them, in fact, they will make sure that they will pursue you even inside the grave. They are good in that. But the real issue we are having today, they are not looking into those issues. People are being killed by, uh, uh, by bandits, by, um, what are they called, by Boko Haram. And nothing is being done about it. Every day by day, they not as they are suffering. Funny enough, these are the people rejoicing because the federal government are going after the freedom, freedom fighters and all that. And they have a bigger problem in their hands. This is the time for them to stand on their foot and say to the federal government that enough of this killing. It's only then this killing in the north will, will stop and all that. Our leaders here, it seems that they are crippled, or what can I say? Even when they say anything, their words does not even hold water because the northerners, they will come to oppose them. So the matter is a really serious one. But if we don't stand to defend our, ourselves and our land, it's going to be worse. That is just it. All right, let's see here what some persons have said here. Okay, someone said that your enemies are killing you, yet you keep trans, uh, transiting uh, businesses with them. Is that no foolishness of the highest order? No wonder the all the Fulani government of Nigeria are into luring and kidnapping as well. Hmm. He runs in them. Let the Yoruba people know that this day, if the Fulani succeed in silent Sondigbo and the Yoruba nation agitation, that means the Fulanis they will see conquer the Yorubas the way they conquered Awusa, he said. So, guys. You've all heard it now. I'm going to drop it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.